Hey, what's going on guys? So we're going to be casting this game between Cloud Strife here in the blue at 12.30 versus Domino Yu-Gi-Oh! here in the red at 11.05. So, uh, our player in the blue is playing Blackwings, our player in the red is playing Watts, but he's playing a, an aggressive style, which is pretty interesting. And uh, game one is not going to be posted just because it was a really one-sided game. Uh, basically, the player in the red never really drew a monster to summon, and... Uh, player in the blue basically took advantage of that, and so Gale is going to try to half, but uh, it will be negated by an effect mailer, and if that is a, if one of those cards is a face down, uh, Icarus attack, our player that in the blue is going to secure advantage super easily just by tributing, um, oh, you see Icarus attack, oh, it is Icarus attack, he's going to tribute that card, and destroy Thunder King and the back row, good stuff over there. And uh, that's going to end, and that's why Acre Stack is just such a good card, and that's why Blackwings are still kind of there. I mean, Blackwings were a prime deck for quite some time, so... Ooh, and uh, Gors is dropped in response to that battle damage being taken from a player in the red, and uh, Gors gets that token, which is also 1800, um, same as the damage he took, so it's an extra duality. And ooh, an Avarice and Watts, interesting. I mean, I guess you can recycle the King Cobras, or Watt Cobra. It used to be called Watt King Cobra. Um, but I guess they just switched over to Cobra. Um, so it's going to add a Watt Giraffe. So, uh... See that Watt Giraffe getting that damage in. By it doesn't really need to attack directly. Let's see if he does summon it, because, uh... A Mirror Force would hurt our player in the red quite a bit right now. I would move that token into attack. There's no reason to keep it in defense mode. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So he's definitely doing that. And, uh, yeah, just attack with, uh, Gores. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and another Acre's Attack comes out. And destroy it, Gorse, and the token. Um, I guess I can see his reasoning behind attacking with Watt Draft first, because uh, if you guys don't know what Watt Draft does, um, when it attacks and inflicts battle damage, your opponent can't activate any spell, traps, or effects until the end phase of this turn. So, that was an okay play. Uh, but again, Acre's Attack just being such a good card, and uh, unfortunately, it looks like our player in the uh, red is going to get ran over once again by... Bora just being so mean with that uh, 1700 attack with that huge spear. It's a massive spear. It looks like, more like a drill to me, a huge drill. Uh, so he's going to take a 1700 attack. And maybe also another Icarus attack, which is what makes Blackwing so weird. And MSC comes out, and it's an enemy controller. Interesting choice to be playing that in Blackwings, but uh, it could be used to see here. Maybe a. Okay. So he's just going to uh, attack. He's going to take some damage there, but he will be able to special summon a Watt, which I guess will be Watt Cobra. But uh, let's see if that is. Yep, it is going to be that card. And uh, it can attack directly now, and uh, it can add another Watt card. Uh, it's Watt Monsters, actually, only. I don't think Watt's playing any like, Watt support other than just the monsters itself. Um, another, I think there's a field spell for Watts, actually, but it's not too good from my knowledge. Um, so he's going to add another Watt Cobra, so he'll be able to cycle out some Cobras to get some damage in here, but, uh, ooh, and, um, I didn't know you can do that, but, so, oh no, it's just, it's a, it's a quick play, okay, gotcha. So yeah, he can activate that, and uh, he'll take another 1,000 damage, and he can search out another, uh, Watt card, uh, Watt monster, which I, mean, I guess is another Watt Cobra. Um, my guess is he will main phase 2 overlay. Uh, my guess will be for a Utopia, though. Uh, but, I mean, he could technically just keep these on the field because if our player in the uh, blue does not draw... Oh, no, it looks like he's going to go for that. But if he didn't leave both about on the field and our player in the blue didn't draw a monster, he would have uh, Watt Cobra, one of them on the field, because one of them would survive, and then he'd have another one, so that way he could have uh, potentially uh, got more Watt cards to his hand. Um... So he's checking his graveyard out, perhaps. He's got Dark Arm, and he's going to summon another Bora, and he's going to overlay for Utopia himself! So it's Battle of the Utopias here. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, if he did have Gemini Pearl, I would have went for that. But, actually, Utopia is quite good. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I'd almost say let it die. Uh, but our player in the blue might have some tricks up his sleeve. Maybe he has a Call of Haunted? No, he doesn't. Um, but our player in the uh, red is going to be able to add another one. Ooh, and a solemn one comes out to stop that thing from coming out at all. But, um, our player in the red is advantage of one card at the moment. Uh, but that is kind of 
because he did go first. Plus, he did get to cycle out cards with Walt Cobra, so lucky him. But that Gorge definitely did save him for a little bit. Actually, didn't really do anything. It just died the next turn. Um, but it did force our player in the blue to use Icarus Attack. Because I'd say Icarus Attack is still uh, arguably a power card in uh, Black Wounds, because it is definitely one of the best cards. Um, because it's so chainable to everything. It stops Synchros, it stops like a lot of stuff. And we see a Fossil Dino come out, which is pretty darn good, uh, especially against uh, Black Wings, um, if they're trying to top deck. Although at any time they can top deck a Shura and just run that little thing over, because uh, Fossil Dino definitely is a very weak monster. It's only got 1200 attack, and a Norse House Row comes out, but Slum Warning being so good, it's just going to say no to that. And, uh, and a Solid Judgment in response is activated. And so he will take 800 damage, but uh, that will not be game. And remember, our player in the red is playing Watts, so any monster that can really attack directly is going to still make a game for our player in the red. And we would go to game three. Uh, just because game one wasn't great, it was just super one-sided. Um, he thinks he lost. I don't agree with that because, uh, you know... Um, Because he's already went through all the Watt Cobras. He can still draw another Watt Giraffe, though. Will we see it? Will we see the Watt Giraffe? Oh, a Dark Hall, and we see a Thunder King, and that is going to be game number two. But uh, this was game number two, because game one was uh, super one-sided. Our player in the uh, uh, blue did take victory in game one. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.